we are asked to use trial and error to estimate the square root of 22 to the nearest hundredth, or two decimal places. Let's begin by determining which two perfect squares the radicand of 22 is between. Well, 16 is a perfect square, and so is 25, and notice that 22 is between 16 and 25, which means the square root of 22 must be less than the square root of 25 and greater than the square root of 16. The square root of 16 is equal to four because four squared equals 16. The square root of 25 is equal to five because five squared equals 25, which means the square root of 22 must be less than five and greater than four. Now that we know the square root of 22 is between four and five, we will make our first approximation for the square root of 22 to the tenths place value, or one decimal place. And then from there, we'll make an approximation to the hundredths or two decimal places. Because 22 is closer to 25 than it is to 16, we'll pick an approximation closer to five than to four. Let's use 4.7 as our first approximation for the square root of 22. If we approximate the square root of 22 as 4.7, this would mean that 4.7 squared should be approximately 22. Well, 4.7 squared is equal to 22.09, which notice how it is approximately 22. But because 4.7 squared is more than 22, for the next approximation to one decimal place, let's try 4.6. And then from there we'll see which of the two approximations is better. So if we approximate the square root of 22 as 4.6, we want 4.6 squared to be closer to 22 than 4.7 squared. 4.6 squared is equal to 21.16, which is approximately 22, but notice how 4.7 squared is closer to 22 than 4.6 squared, which means 4.7 is a better approximation than 4.6. And there's no reason to try 4.8 because 4.7 squared is already more than 22, and 4.6 squared is less than 22. So to one decimal place, or to the tenths place value, the approximation would be 4.7. But again, our goal is to determine an approximation or estimate to the nearest hundredth, or two decimal places. And because 4.7 squared is more than 22, for our first approximation to the hundredths place value, let's use 4.69. We are selecting a value less than 4.7 because 4.7 squared is more than 22. So for the first approximation to two decimal places, let's use 4.69. To check our approximation, we will now square 4.69 and see how close it is to the radicand of 22. 4.69 squared is equal to 21.9961 which notice how it is approximately 22. In fact, it's very close to 22. Also notice 4.69 squared is less than 22, and therefore, there's no real reason to try 4.68, because 4.68 squared is going to be less than 21.9961, and further away from 22. But let's go ahead and check it anyway. If we approximated the square root of 22 as 4.68, to check the approximation, we would square 4.68, and 4.68 squared is equal to 21.9024, which is approximately 22, but notice how 4.69 squared is closer to 22 than 4.68 squared, which means our approximation for the square root of 22 to the hundredths place value, or two decimal places, is 4.69. I hope you found this helpful.